the Kasabi Show is a game show where celebrities compete the title Kasabi paintings for cash awards. And the tonight's contestants are the art writer David Coggins. Yeah. And also uh, the art writer and the style guy, Glenn O'Brien. Woo! <laughs> Last but not least, filmmaker and artist Eric Mitchell. <laughs> and Eric, I have a question. How do you feel about being referred to as an underground filmmaker? I don't mind. <laughs> you don't take issue with it. No. What is your card? I don't care. My card. Don't I don't care, have a card. <laughs> Aww. How could he not? Aww. That is underground. Art, how, could he, <laughs> how could he mind if his film is called Underground USA? Good point. That is a good point. Twenty-five dollars times three. You almost had it. Underground USA. Now here we have a painting that shows two figures above ground, and it has numbers in it. It has the number 15 in the form of a magic square. Zoom in on that number 15 on the left, the square. See, if you add up all the numbers in every direction, it, it, it becomes 15. So that makes it a magic square. See, 8 plus 1 plus 6, 15. Well, and those things that look like match heads are actually uh, a microscopic enlargement of somebody's tongue. Oh, yeah. Papillae. Taste buds. Taste buds, yeah. Okay, do we have a title for this painting? I've got a good pun. Okay, what would that be, Gwen? Papillae audience. Apple audience. That's ah, not that good a pun. <laughs> <laughs> David Coggins, do we, what, do we have a title yeah, from you? Mine is uh, Miss Calculation. But we've done that. We've done yeah. that. Have we? Yeah. Men? Well, okay. Men. Okay. Men. Well, if it adds up to 15. Men's we've done a lot of men's yeah, I have one. Men's right. registered joke. I have one. Math what would that be, Eric? Ma uh, mathematical anguish. <clears throat> okay. And now, Glenn O'Brien, do we have a title from you? Uh, yes, I do. I have a title, Mark. What uh, would that be, Glenn? Uh, um, precise taste. Ooh. <laughs> Can I buy a precise taste by the style guy, Glenn O'Brien 420? Oh. That's all by itself. Glenn O'Brien. Speaking of taste, this woman is thinking about all that candy and the moon and the red apocalyptic horizon. Any titles to offer? Are, the, are those hard candies in, in cellophane wrappers? Yeah. yeah. Those big, those heavy mints. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's, it's based on a Torres piece. That's good, too, Lisa. Well. I have a title. What would that be? The Mint David. Hour. The Mint Hour? That's good. Glenn, do you have something even better? Yes, I do. I have a title from Tommy James and the Shondells. <laughs> Crystal Blue Perfection. <laughs> Persuasion. Oh, persuasion. Now we're talking. Well, I didn't say it was exactly the same. And then we also have David Coggins uh, in the room. David? Oh, I got his rim shot. <laughs> rim uh, shot. <laughs> well, I just wanted to use this, you know, drum machine. Uh, <laughs> that. Co yeah, yeah. Coleman deserves yeah. applause for that. Now, yeah. can, I, can I buy it? Uh, well, let's just, uh, Glenn, could you repeat your title as we gaze at the jury? Yeah, I, I, I'm going to stick with perfection, uh, crystal blue perfection. Can we buy crystal blue perfection for $20? Like Brian? Persuasion. Uh, I'm going to buy it. $20 to go for crystal blue is a guy with a little guy in his head. It's an artist who is, whose brush is dripping while his idea is dormant or about to sprout. 
And it's titled? The Blank Mind. Can I buy it? The Blank Mind by Eric Mitchell. For $20, all $90. That's the money. Blank Canvas. Eric, yeah. the underground filmmaker, Mitchell. Yay, Eric! <laughs> After we award twenty dollars to whoever knows the source of the sculpture in the upper left hand corner. Who is the artist? Noguchi. Yeah, twenty dollars to whoever knows. Isamu Noguchi. The grasp of technology. Can I buy the grasp of technology by Glenn O'Brien for twenty almighty dollars? Possibly. Metaphysical machine. I like that. Can I buy Metaphysical Machine by Eric Mitchell? 20 bucks. Alliteration. Uh, uh, Miguel, zoom in on a close up of that Falkland inspired figure in the lower lower left. See, that that guy comes from Falkland. I have a title. What would that be? Recall. <laughs> I like that. Can I buy Recall by Eric Mitchell? Great title. I'll buy it. twenty dollars to Eric Mitchell for a recall. I'm tempted, but I'm not going to say a word. Except that there are um, three additional colors in addition to the white. Black and gray in this picture. Funny, Mark, there are more hands in there than you think. I, you know, there's one, two, three, four, not three. So, how about even handed? You, but there are only three hands. No, 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 because she has two, right? Yeah, but you don't see the third, fourth one. I have a title. I know, therefore, what? So, you don't like even handed? What's your title? The Cradled Fist. The cradled, cradled Fist? Fist. 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 Uh, I have, okay. I have a, and a, Glenn O'Brien, what's your title? The Palmist. The Palmist? Oh, that's great. Can I buy The Palmist by Glenn O'Brien for $20? I like cradles. I'll do it. $20 to Glenn for The Palmist. Do we like this painting? Yeah. Sexy. Okay. Let's, let's get it out. Wigging me out, Mark. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Any analysis from John Del Mar, perhaps? Yeah, well, I think uh, obviously you have the Decurico elements here, and you also have the porn elements. It looks like this figure in the foreground is some kind of uh, stripper, uh, exhibitionist, and then you have that uh, the very secular kind of nudity with the more artistic nudity of the sculpture behind it. So you're comparing secular and pornographic with artistic in a tableau of uh, De Chirico. Okay, five dollars to John Del Mar. Yeah. Oh, I got one for you, Mark. What should we call this painting? Uh, uh, Coggins, you had a comment before we Well, we it's went just to funny because it's, it's we got the house, right? you've got the person. How about the ideal house guest? <laughs> <laughs> Because it's an idealized form. Let's look at the painting for a second. Yeah, but the idealized form and the, all right. I, 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 yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I have a title, uh, yeah. I have a title from what New Wave History, Mark. From New Wave History, what would that be? The Contortions. That's good. Nice. And Eric Mitchell from New Wave History. Uh, do you have anything? What? I have a title. What would that be? I'm trying to think. Um, the ex Ecstasy Dilemma. Can I buy The Ecstasy Dilemma by Eric Mitchell for $20? I'm surprised. I thought that would win. Okay, now, uh, let's hear the new wave title by Glenn O'Brien from New Wave History. The Glenn, what, 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 what was it again? The Contortions. Either that Look or James White Contort the Blacks. Contort yourself. <laughs> Can Contort I buy yourself. The Contortion by Glenn O'Brien? Contort yourself. That... That takes the money. $20. Now, oh, speaking of contortion. My favorite band. Me too. Really? They, they were your favorite band? Yes. They still are. Still are. Wow. They were better than the Rolling Stones. Better than the Rolling Stones. Uh, okay. Here is a figure bending over 
merging with his profession, which is to, uh, he's like a human origami machine. That's not so good, but, okay, he's merging with the, his task of cutting the paper. He's sort of a, it's about folding. Folding different dimensions. Eric Mitchell, ben what's your title? No, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with Ben Sinister. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, and one try from uh, Glenn O'Brien, perhaps? I'm sticking with self-edited. That's good. Okay, can I buy it? Self-edited by Glenn O'Brien for 20 A lot of support. Okay, let's also consider Bent Sinister by Eric Mitchell for $20. Is that what $20? Bent Sinister, lights please. You beat him out by one vote. $20 to Eric Mitchell. <laughs> creating a vortex feeling in this with the change in the colors from the purple to the blue and then like the drapery turns into this kind of like fog movement almost on the upper left and then becomes more specific on the right and just it feels like everything's just kind of going in a circular motion. Well, Nine. also... Great uh, analysis. Five dollars to the record. Vortex. Um, definitely the, as in one of the prior works, there are... Um, um, labial folds and so the uh, this opening up here is uh, through a vaginal opening with labial folds around it as part of the curtains. I love the look on Lisa Rosen's face. Yes. <laughs> and I could go further. The moon is the, the well you're right. the moon also is the, every rose a certain you got one thing That's a mind. sufficient quantity of analysis, right? You asked for it and you got it. Yeah. Can we have a title for the painting now? See right. the painting, yeah, it's labial, right. according to Del Mar. So it's, it's, it's like he's bookish. Re uh, rejecting the outside and interested on these things that are inside the book. That, so how about interior monologue? Fabulous. Okay. Yes. Can I buy interior monologue by David Hunt? $20. Is that inferior? That is worth $20. Inferior. 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 We have a painting, a black and white painting of a Kastabi figure merging with the motorcycle that he's riding through a futurist environment. Any titles to propose? Designed for speed. Designed for speed. Not bad. Uh, Glenn O'Brien or David Coggins. Veloce. Veloce. <laughs> which means fast in Italian. Um, Cargan. Monochrome wheel mounts. Uh -huh. um, I don't, I don't have one yet. There yet. Right, I Lisa? I made my motorcycle um, with pizza Not quite, colors. although <laughs> Eric uh, kind of really talks about the manifesto, the future is manifesto of their idea of speed and everything. So that's kind of the, the best one so far. It was the best one so far, but it's still not up to our standards. Yeah. I'm trying to think like the urge for speed, like the merge, merge for speed, but something like That's that. Good. I have another one. Merge for speed. What do you merge, have? Merge, Man merge machine. Man machine. Merge for speed was good. Lisa approves of my merge for speed mark, but I can. Can I write merge for speed? Merge for speed by David Coggins, approved by Lisa Rosen. Yeah, $20 too, David Cardinal for the first. Speaking of that, I just love when uh, Glenn O'Brien referred to uh, a similar painting uh, as uh, We'll Be Right Back. <laughs> Glenn's obviously gone to a few. I, I have a title for this one, Mark. What would that be, Glenn? We're back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, as in from the future. <laughs> it's black and white with a, a, a hint of mauve, right? Yeah. You know, they're, they're playing so furiously that they're sort of creating some sort of vertigo that transcends uh, physical reality. That's great analysis. Five dollars to Simon Sirigo. The great analysis from the second row. Okay. Lisa, do you have additional analysis? I have
have an interloping title. What would that be? It's, a, it's very futurist. Um, the Art of Noise for Rousselot's a whole thing. The Art of Noise. Yeah. Okay, this will, uh, we're going to consider it. We're going to consider it. Now let's go to the luminary. Mark, I have another title. What would that be? Boogie Woogie. Eric. I don't like that title. <laughs> I like the way you say it, though. You're not going to get mad at me, though. I just don't like it. Okay. Boogie Woogie. But it's personal. It's probably a good title, but it's bringing back weird memories. Okay. Um, Too much woogie. Boy, how much boogie? Uh, Glenn, what do we have? In the groove. Oh, I, I think that's pretty good. That's good. I think it's great. Can I buy it? In the groove by Glenn O'Brien. $20. Ooh. Definitely. Yeah, $20 to Glenn O'Brien. <laughs> All right, what should we call this melancholy, this painting of a melancholy figure posing in front of an Alligator Bratty painting? A tapestry, rather. I have a title. What would that be? The Lettrist. The what? The Lettrist, which is a movement in France in the um, uh, 40s, which spawned the uh, Situationist with Guy Debord. The wow. Lettrist movement, Lettrist. I love that. Do you have something even better, a Glenn? Yes, or I, David? yes, I do, Mark. What would that be, Glenn? Uh, alphabetical disorder. Oh, that's good. And David Cargan. So, uh, David, I have a question for you. Do you yeah. sometimes feel intimidated being next to Glenn O'Brien with his immense talent at titling paintings? Uh, no, I, I enjoy Glenn's talent for titling paintings. He always gets a big hug after the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm still here. Glenn, can, can you utter your title again? Yes, it was Alphabetical Disorder. Alphabetical Disorder, is that worth $20? Or is it worth maybe even 40 No, 20 yeah, $20 to Glenn O'Brien. Okay, we still have paintings that need titles urgently because we're afraid we have to ship them. Here is a painting that quotes both De Chirico in the lower left and De Caro <laughs> all over the place. Uh, Goya also. And Goya, thank yeah. you. Astute observation. And uh, that woman is a kind of really mounting that futurist horse in the background. So I see there's this castle in the front and you know this phrase like master of his domain but he's not the master of domain she is so it's like mistress of his domain oh nice very nice to me that's worth fifty dollars but this is a competition a so title. let's go to glenn o'brien and eric mitchell equus affair equus affair yeah. that works the horse reference glenn do you have a title hey glenn uh, you know, it has been written that uh, this game show is the most intellectual show on television. It's got my vote. <laughs> yeah. But that guy, John Del Mar, yeah. said that it's the second most intellectual show on television. He thinks Charlie Rose is more intellectual than the Kostabi show. Oh, I thought you were going to say SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> I'd vote for SpongeBob, too. Yeah. But Char Charlie Rose interviewing SpongeBob, that would be something. Family guy. Uh, John Del Mar, notice the books behind the luminaries? I have a yeah, title for Glenn. You that's, would... proof, that's proof that it's an intellectual show. And I like the way the Kastabi title sticks out, even next to Max Ernst and Picasso. He, he was next to Max Ernst. Right. Your, your, right. your titles are wider. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's product placement. What? Product What's your best place? title for this painting? What? Uh, I, well, I, how about the unsold soul? Do, do those exist? Hey, can I buy the unsold soul by Glenn O'Brien for fifty? Not twenty. Fifty dollars. Oh, that must hurt. Okay. No, no. Uh, David Cox, your best title. That was your best Mistress title, of his Cox. domain. Yeah. 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 
Mistress of his domain. Is that worth fifty dollars? Yeah. One hundred almighty dollars. Okay, what do we call this painting of that trio again playing inside a Bala inspired futurist space? What do we got, Glenn, David, and Eric? <laughs> this is sort of Glenn's area of specialty. You know, he kind of gets yeah. a lot of these swinging. Yeah. Well, he knows music. So do you. But he likes jazz music, you know. He's he wrote a whole article about John Michel Basquiat and his connection to jazz. Really? Yeah. Very interesting. It's in a big book called The Basquiat Show. Right, Glenn? Yeah. I have a copy of it here. Spinning a melody. Say it again? Spinning a melody. Can I buy Spinning a Melody for $20 by Glenn O'Brien? No, Louis no, Black. Louis. Oh, Louis, Louis Black. Louis Black. I want $20 for Louis Black, John Del Mar. What's your vote? Ooh, John. I have a yeah, $20 for Louis Black. I'll go for it. <laughs> We have a cellist playing in front of a futurist painting. That's beautiful. You like that one, Lisa? Very much. It's a nice painting, yeah. Yeah, it's more pastel. The palette's more pastel. Why do you like it, Lisa? Well, I see the, the cello is kind of repeated behind her in, in two different places, in the woman's body and also in kind of a guitar form Yeah. yeah. in the street. Yeah. Mm. OK. Great analysis. Uh, Shalene, please give Lisa five dollars. Great announcement. Yay, Lisa. And, and bring the painting close to the luminaries. How about uh, feminine curves? Feminine curve or curves. Curves. Uh, that's something to consider. Glenn O'Brien or Eric Mitchell? Yo yo ma in love. <laughs> Did you really say that, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> you really Thank said you. that. After I said this was the most intellectual show on television. Nice. Yeah, exactly. All right, Eric, Glenn O'Brien, what do we have from you? Uh, the Unstrung Quartet. It's a That's complex a and uh, thought-provoking, and I like it very much. Let's see if New York City agrees. Can I buy the Unstrung Quartet by Glenn O'Brien? Clearly they agree. Forty dollars to Glenn O'Brien for the Unstrung Quartet. <laughs> Ah, another version of this One motorcycle round. man merging uh, with his... It's KB now, Mark. It's a uh, backseat driver. That's pretty cool. Really? It's came not to you now. <laughs> so clearly? <laughs> came to you clearly. Okay, well, consider that. Also, we have Glenn O'Brien. Okay, I have one. What is it? S speed the bike. Speed the bike? Yeah, as in speed the plow. That, that's good. Do you have something even better, Glenn? Where did this come from? It comes from a futurist painting. It comes from a futurist composition. Of a motorcycle? It's a Moto Guzzi. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, while you're thinking, I have a question for Eric Mitchell. Eric. Yes. What? We're in the middle of winter. Why do you have that fan? Because I'm hot because I'm always hot, Mark. Yeah. It is but hot in here. The lights. Really? Yeah. And it's a look, you know, kind of Karl Lagerfeld. I thought it was a look. I thought it was a look. Yeah. Because we're in the middle of winter. Yeah. It's okay. hot. Uh, back to Glenn O'Brien. It's a good look, by the way. Yeah, it's a good look. Walter Robinson does it too. Glenn, do you have a title for this black and white picture of the ground speedster? No. <laughs> Simon, what is it? Transcending the event horizon. Look at Lisa Rosen. Look at her. <laughs> Five dollars to Lisa Rosen for her uh, reaction. And you know, and you know where I got that from. That's from the black where? hole. The event horizon is just before you go into the black right. hole, 
And so okay. it's black. I got it. He's going faster. He's going faster. What do you have, David Cargan? Well, you didn't like my backseat driver. Because, see, I think it looks like there's a figure in front of him a little bit, so he's kind of mounted in a way. So that was just sort of my own little dirty joke to myself. Which... Do you want okay. us to vote on your own little dirty joke to yourself? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I've got one more. What is it? Go ahead. Ghost Rider. <laughs> I love it. Can I buy Ghost Rider by Glenn O'Brien? Okay. Oh, yeah. $40 to Glenn O'Brien. And Glenn, you said lots of Kastabi figures kind of have a ghost-like quality. Look at this one merging with the music in this still life. Any titles to propose? Can we look at it closely? Yeah, closer, please, closer. Please. Thank you, Shalene. Eric wants please. it closer. I have a title mark. What would that be, Glenn? Bebop Bacchus. Bebop Bacchus. Very memorable. Coggins, do you have something even better? Not, not at the moment. I'm not still. At the moment. This How is a very Eric different for you. Uh, style here. I'm, I'm. Okay, can I buy Bebop Bacchus by Glenn O'Brien for twenty dollars? Yes, another twenty dollar bill to enter Glenn O'Brien. Now it's time for free money for everybody. Thank you.